As of this recording, we have not yet concluded the NFL's wild card round of the playoffs in the 2021 season spilling over into 2022. And I'll tell you what, even with this Monday game left to play, it's a complete train wreck. Before we get into this, let me give a shout out to my buddies over at calderalab.com, makers of the good, the deep, the base layer, and the clean slate, the cosmetic routine of an aging YouTuber. If you want people to incorrectly guess your age in the comment section, hit them up at calderalab.com. Tell them I sent you by using my promo code FRY15. Save 15% at checkout. The NFL is greedy. They were so greedy, they were willing to water down the product. A team such as the Kansas City Chiefs may very well have to play two additional games this season than last season in order to get to the Super Bowl. All because we just had to have that regular season expanded to 17 games, while also having playoffs consist of 14 teams. Granted, last year they said we'll have either one extra week in the season or we will have one extra team per conference in the playoff, and they went with the extra team in the playoff per conference. But I think we are seeing the problem with doing both. The long season creates more scenarios for a season-ending injury in a marquee athlete, which will either dictate the course of the postseason or possibly ruin the Super Bowl by having it be some battle of attrition of who is left standing rather than who is the best. All of this done in the name of increasing the number of games that can be televised. The NFL remains the most popular sport in North America and that margin is growing. Ratings for the woked out, barely legitimate NBA are tanking like a team looking for a lottery pick. But not to be outdone, the NFL is now berating those watching the games. With these asinine commercials propagandizing some outlandish tech inequality gap. What is nonsense is this? You know black people without a smartphone in America? If anyone doesn't have a smartphone in America, it's the elderly. Should I see five-year-olds now with iPhones? And when I was their age, my parents didn't let me have an iPhone. Granted, they weren't invented yet, but they wouldn't have. Oh, and when I graduate, I'm going to make $10,000 less than a white student of the same qualifications. Trust me, you do not want to make $10,000 less than me. And worst of all, you have this black granny talking about how someone who looks like her may be over-incarcerated. Okay, you're telling me we are really locking up old black ladies? America had turned to the NFL for escapism away from the leagues that we're going to preach. And instead we're getting this. In concert with bad football from teams that don't deserve to be in the playoffs, getting their bell rung by teams that are dominant. Both of which are a recipe for disaster in the NBA, where a lack of a first round buy makes for a one seed almost always kicking ass on an eighth seed. There is a law of diminishing returns. You have too many games in the regular season, they lose value. You give middle America mediocre first round of the playoffs while also beating us over the head with this message you're making up to please your black players who can't seem to understand that they're being manipulated. Don't be surprised when people tune out because they always do. If you appreciate a YouTube channel that doesn't just pad out content to get to the eight minute mark so that it can hammer you with ad breaks, then you should subscribe to my son's channel. You just got done watching it.